Hi lovelies, this is me coming to you with a new video. This is about what happened at Ava's IEP meeting. I wouldn't say success. I surely did not get the things I wanted and I definitely had to make some concessions and rejections, which I have yet to get the final IEP in the mail. I feel you don't have to accept and I've learned, especially since I got an advocate and done my own research that you do not have to accept what the school is giving you. If you feel you need more or you disagree, say you disagree. I really feel that in this process, some people were ultra friendly. I, I don't feel that anybody was definitely not friendly, but I do feel even before they had tested her, they had decided what she was gonna get. Because she had the diagnosis, and I learned recently, do not let them ever take the diagnosis away from your kid. I know as us as parents want to hear that they're cured and that they no longer have the diagnosis. But if you ever need additional help, that diagnosis opens the door. So regardless of what happens in the future, I will probably never let the diagnosis drop. Um, just in case she ever needs extra help and I never want the fight. So basically, I rejected the preschool. And the reason I rejected the preschool is because she turns three in May. And the only preschools left were the ghetto preschools, the pre preschools I did not approve of. I had three choices. Two choices were in my district. And presently, they are both full. They are ABA-based preschools. Um... So basically, I rejected the preschool because if I had put her in the ghetto preschool and tried to transfer, I'd be at the bottom of the list. But the fact that I rejected it, I'm at the top of the list because I don't. she doesn't have a placement. So she was approved for the summer program, door-to-door -door transportation, and she got two half-hour sessions of speech a week, which I feel is not a lot enough and I rejected. And, there, and then she only got three hours of one-on-one -on -one ABA. Another thing I rejected. Um, but with those two rejections, the compromise is to see how she is in 60 days after preschool. I also put in the IEP that I want a meeting with everybody once a month. I don't know with my job situation if I really could come up with meeting them once a month, but I want it in there just in case I do need to meet with them and follow through. I also want a notebook passed back and forth about how her day is going. I want it in her IEP that people need to help her walk up and down the stairs. Just don't let her walk up and down the stairs. Recently, she has some physical disabilities. Um, and I think it, it is connected to the autism, but my baby would not walk up and down the stairs. So we have been working on that with her therapist. Now she can walk up and down the stairs, but it's wobbly and, you know, she just, is not um, steady on her feet. So she needs assistance and I don't want her not assisted. So I want that in the IEP. I do feel that they were on their guard because I had an advocate and I kind of wanted them on their guard. So that was a good thing. The advocate did ask some very intelligent questions, but I do feel that she got the gamut of the things she needed because of that diagnosis we had from the doctor when we walked in there. So, um, it is what it is. Also, I am not leaving everything up to the school system. So, I, um, because we're not starting till July, because the summer program, um, ABA will continue to come. I'll have to pay a copay. Hopefully, we're getting that covered in another manner. We're working on that. But this all starts in a month, so I'm going uh, to cross my fingers that we're getting it worked out because it's about to get financially stressful. Anyways, but they're going to be here five days a week, two and a half hours, um, until July. Until July. And then I got a speech therapist on Fridays after I get off work um, at in um, the afternoon every Friday until September. I wanted it indefinitely, but I went and met with the speech therapist and she's basically like work with your school. She doesn't always feel that 
more therapy is better unless I'm feeling dissatisfied with the therapy I'm getting at her school. So we will be going there every Friday after her third birthday. There's a couple dates in the summer where she's um, taking vacation or something, but pretty much until she starts school in September, please cross your fingers that I get the school I want. It's actually the same preschool that the girl we had a play date with. Um, it's so funny because I mentioned the preschool so many damn times by the time I left, they're like, what preschool do you want? And the woman's like, I underlined it, highlighted it, put it in bold. And I also, when they had an open house for the schools, had a long conversation with the vice principal of that preschool. So I'm crossing my fingers she gets this freaking preschool. Anyway, all in all, I'm excited and nervous about my baby going to preschool. She's never been out of sight of a family member, which is essentially me, my mother, and sometimes my father. So this is really scary. She probably will be fine, but I'm the one scared. And because, you know, of the uh, the issues of when I have to go to work and my mother not really driving, um, transportation has to pick her up and drop her off, which is a little nerve wracking too. You know what I mean? So I am putting my baby in God's hands. Any suggestions you can give me, any thoughts or anything you want to ask me, put it in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe, holla back.